Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday, the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Isabella San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Jude today will now begin. Great St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, Desolations, endless pleading, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. Human hearts in desperation Meet the dreary toils of life Countless thousands have you strengthened By your power in their strife Your warm love turns abating for the hopeless, ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to our novena to St. Jude Tadeus, and um, we pray for our personal intentions, and uh, also uh, that um, there be peace uh, in the world, uh, especially in uh, Ukraine, where there is so much uh, suffering and um, wars and uh, <coughs> destruction in Ukraine. We pray also for our country, for peace and unity, and for our families. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude that the Church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, 
praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to Saint Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray for us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet, pray for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had a consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension, pray for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost, Pray for us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health both of soul and body. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray for us. Novena Prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude the glorious apostle, apostle, faithful, faithful servant, and friend of Jesus, Jesus the, name the name of the, of the person who betrayed, who betrayed our, our Lord, Lord has caused, caused you to be forgotten by many. But the, but the true Church invokes you universally. As a, as a patron, patron of, of the desperate, pray, pray for me who is miserable. miserable. Pray, pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the succor of heaven in all, in all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may bless, I may bless God, God with the elect throughout eternity. eternity. Saint, Saint Jude, Jude, worker of miracles, miracles please, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray, pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Almighty, Almighty and eternal God, God everlasting health to those who believe. Who believe. Hear us, us for the sick, sick for whom we implore the aid of your, of your tender mercy. mercy that being, being restored to bodily, bodily health, health, they may give thanks, thanks to you in your church, through Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim, Blessed, Blessed apostle, apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. So, um, 
now after this um, <clears throat> our novena to Saint Jude the uh, let us uh, move to uh, the feast of the nativity or the birth of uh, Saint John the Baptist which is today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, um, today is a big feast in the church. At uh, alam naman natin uh, tong San Juan. Um, especially uh, San Juan uh, here San Juan Bautista so uh, we pray to Saint uh, John the Baptist for our uh, families for our intentions also and uh, also for greater peace in the world, in our country, and in our families. And now let us pause for a moment to think of our failings and our sins and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to so Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, holy angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray the glory. Okay. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good. pray, O God, who raise up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord. Give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples.
The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, to whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O Lord, you have probed me, you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize with all my ways you are familiar. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. My soul also you knew full well nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king, of him God testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us, this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zachariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and brought John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> pagkapistahan ng uh, San Juan Bautista, uh, alam naman natin doon sa mga parokya kung uh, merong celebration starting in the morning, ay ano po ba ang ginagawa? Well, ang mga kumukuha ng tubig at pagkatapos ay uh, they douse o uh, uh, binabasa nila yung mga uh, pasahero ng mga uh, jeepney o yung mga naglalakad sa bangketa. Well, <clears throat> of course, that is uh, um, celebration of the feast of St. John the Baptist. Bakit nila ginagawa yun? Kasi ito ay uh, parabang yung uh, <coughs> to show that uh, John the Baptist he was a baptizer. Kaya ito yung kaugalian na matagal nang ginagawa. Pero alam ninyo mga kapatid, uh, hindi lamang ito ang dapat natin alalahanin yung uh, uh, this custom but also the lesson uh, of the life of St. John the Baptist. Alam niyo po si uh, San Juan ay pinsan ng ating Panginoon at siya ay yung tinatawag na forerunner. Siya ang uh, profeta. Ang profeta po ay uh, isang uh, tao nung uh, panahon ng ating Panginoon. And these prophets, uh, they are not, hindi ho yung mga manghuhula, ano po? Kundo ito po ay uh, nagsasabi ng katotohanan kung mali o tama yung ginagawa ng mga tao during his time. So they have to speak out whether they are under threat or whether uh, they uh, are sometimes uh, hated by the people. Kasi sinasabi niya kung ano ang totoo, kung ano ang katotohanan. So, mga kapatid, uh, hindi <coughs> madali o magaan yung ginagawa ni 
San Juan Bautista. Kasi maraming natatapakan uh, dahil sa uh, kanyang mga sinasabi na uh, hindi tama yan, hindi ganun ang uh, ginagawa mo. And this happened, my dear brothers and sisters, when, you know, he went to King Herod at sabi niya, hindi tama ang ginagawa mo. Bakit? Kasi yung asawa ng kapatid mo, si Herodias, ay inangkin mo. At uh, uh, hindi dapat ganun dahil uh, uh, masama ang umangkin ng asawa ng kanyang kapatid. At alam ninyo ang nangyari dahil dito, well, alam na natin ang nangyari, ay eh, nagalit si Herodias yung mabae dahil uh, siya ay uh, was the object of the 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 uh, criticism of Saint John and so we all know that uh, you know Saint John the Baptist was beheaded siya po ay he was executed because of telling what was the truth and to tell Herod the king na hindi tama yung kanyang ginawa. So, uh, this was the life of Saint uh, John the Baptist. Although aram natin na hindi po madali ang manghusga o magsabi na hindi tama ang ginagawa mo. Bakit? Dahil maraming magagalit sa iyo. At saka, uh, hindi, uh, uh, you're not safe also. Just like what happened to John the Baptist. At kung minsan, uh, in order to, uh, in order to uh, do something uh, Evil, they can give uh, incentives or in order to just forget about the law. Um, but rather, um, that you stick to what is right and avoid what is against the law. Maalala ko po, mga kapatid, yung tungkol sa isang balikbayan. Siya po ay uh, umuwi dito sa Pilipinas at dala-dala uh, uh, dalapunya niya yung kanyang uh, pinakamamahal na aso at uh, uh, nasa uh, bahay na dahil mainit po ang panahon dito ay yung kawawang aso ay namatay. At alam ninyo, kung namatay, ay malungkot na malungkot yung balikbayan na may-ari dahil mamahalin yung asong yun. Ano po? E, um, ang ginawa po niya ay pumunta doon sa Kura Paroko at sinabi niya, Father, pwede bang imisahan natin itong aking aso na namatay. Sabi nung ay nung tinignan yung balikbayan. Sabi niya, ano? Imimisahan ang isang aso? Nabagyan sa ating uh, uh, sa ating simbahan. Hindi, that is against the law of the church. Sabi niya, imimisahan ang isang aso. Ngayon ay uh, sabi ng sabi ng balikbayan kasi father um, mahal na mahal ko yung asong yun at gusto ko na siya ay pumunta sa langit at alam mo father sabi niya um, ako ay naglaan ng pera para dyan naglaan ako ng 1,000 US dollars ano? para lamang doon sa kanyang uh, 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 kanyang uh, funeral service 
Pero kung ayaw po ninyo, Father, ay di pupunta na lang ako doon sa protestanteng simbahan. Ano? Aba, eh, nung narinig po yung pare, yung 1,000 US dollars, ano? Aba, minultiply niya ng, uh, ayun po, tumaas na po yung halaga ng uh, dollar. Hindi na 52, kundi 54 per 1,000 uh, dollars. That is 54,000 pesos, ano? Eh, nung paalis na po yung uh, balikbayan, hinabol po nung pare, sabi niya, Mama, mama, bakit, uh, bakit ka alis po punta diyan sa protestante? Hindi mo ba alam na ang aso mo ay katoliko? Sige, ibalik po dito at uh, may misahan ko na siya, sabi niya. Well, dahil doon sa pera po, ay nakalimutan na niya yung batas ng simbahan. Ano? Uh, well, hindi po ako yung pareng yun, ano? pero uh, uh, kung lamang po yun, uh, kwento. So, dear brothers and sisters, even there are uh, attractions, even if there are, uh, you know, incentives that they give to break the law, then uh, we have to uh, stick to the law, the law of uh, our country, for example, against uh, bribery, against corruption, against uh, uh, evil and also the laws of our church and the commandments of God. So, maybe this is the lesson that we can learn from the life of John the Baptist. Um, wherever we are, in our offices, uh, that uh, we always try to uh, uh, stick to the rules and to the laws. Alam nyo, nung uh, um, may kaibigan akong accountant sa isang uh, malaking kompanya, nakikita po niya na some of the officers in that uh, company ay gumagawa ng katiwalian at uh, sila po ay uh, uh, hindi lamang nangungupit, nangungurakot no? from the uh, uh, company's treasures, treasury. At uh, alam nyo, uh, gusto niyang sabihan sa kanila na hindi tama yung ginagawa nila. But she was afraid. So ang ginawa po niya ay siya ay uh, nag-report doon sa manager sa kanilang ginagawa. It was a very difficult uh, it was a very difficult decision on her part. But then you know what happened? There was an investigation and those uh, who committed you know corruption they were dismissed from their positions so that is um, bravery in carriage like carriage of saint john the baptist so dear brothers and sisters let us also do this when we have when we are in our families to try to help and to call the attention of your children when they're doing bad. We should always emphasize that they should do what is good and to shun or avoid what is evil. So, St. John the Baptist feast today, let us pray for moral courage and to pray for faith in the Lord by doing what is good and avoiding what is bad. Amen. John the Baptist was called from the first moment of his life 
to announce the coming of the light to the nations, the hope of the world. In the joy of this feast, let us make our prayers to God and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the message of salvation to the ends of the earth. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations may be instruments of truth and justice and lead their people in the way of peace. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may come surely to the end to which our faith leads, the salvations of our souls. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer that the poor and the suffering may take fresh heart in the promise of Christ's glory. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and to come to aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society. May the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our Lord, prayer, that the Lamb may take away the sins of the faithful departed, we pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. In silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray also for devotees of St. Jude Tadeus who have this special intention, recovery of uh, Lola uh, Purita Espinosa and the success of uh, the uh, architectural licensure and examination of Lisette Pedroso. Also, for guidance and help to pass the board exam uh, for Lisette Aur Aurea, complete healing for Purita Espinosa and Noriel Barcelona. Also, uh, Hazel Grina and uh, Resilin Natividad for this coming Friday, Sabina, for licensure examination. I ask to beg for healing, Benasha Ariego for lupus, kidney, lunch, uh, go for redundant colon. I beg of you, Saint Jude and Jesus Christ. Also for Lito Alano, Rosy Suntai, Joe Valencia, Johnny Helen C. Father of time and eternity, to search our hearts and discern our needs before we ask. Aided by St. John the Baptist, in your mercy, hear our prayers to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread, we will drink this saving cup, and feel your presence, O oh Lord. As we offer these breads and as we bring you this wine, bless them. Now give us life, send us your spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. As we offer this bread, and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, feed us now. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord. We celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's Savior and pointed uh, him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ. In his presence, precursor Saint John the Baptist, we raise and praise your great glory, for you have consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing even in the womb he left for joy. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the land of redemption and to make holy the flowing waters. He baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him the supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. sacrifice of yours, they may become the body and blood of your of Lord Jesus Christ. With this celebration, with this great mystery, which he himself left us an eternal covenant. For when the hour uh, come for him to be glorified by your Father most holy, having loved his only Son, you were in the world, he loved them to the end. 
And while they were at supper, he took bread and blessed and broke them and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and those joining us in our live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, the unity of the Holy Spirit. All oh, glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever. and sisters, let's pray the prayer Christ our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, word of love, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, of the world grant us peace. Brothers and sisters, here is our Lord Jesus Christ in the form of bread and wine. He gives himself as our spiritual nourishment. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord Jesus Christ, <coughs> bring us to eternal life. Amen. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of Saint John the Baptist, your church may know, as the author of her rebirth, the Christ is coming, John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for vocations. O oh, Father, you desire all of us to be happy. Stir up the grace of a religious vocation in the hearts of many men and women. Grant to them the willingness and generosity to give of themselves, their lives, their time, and their talents to the service of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Savior, and to his holy church. Many more men and women go forth as priests, deacons, brothers and sisters to bring the truths to our Catholic faith, to all others, so that soon they too may know you better and love you more, and serving you be truly happy. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for pray us. for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinademitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. We are inviting married couples who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries this year and who wish to renew their marriage vows in our upcoming Renewal ng Bayan 2022 on June 26, Sunday during the 8 a.m. Mass. You may register via www.bit.ly slash 
shrine renewal ng bayan, or visit the shrine office after the Mass. Our daily Masses and devotions, Novena, here at the shrine are as follows. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 6, 8, 10, 11.30 a.m., 4 and 6 p.m. Monday, 6 p.m., Devotion to the Holy Spirit. Tuesday, 6.30 a.m., Devotion to Christ the King. 6 p.m., Devotion to Padre Pio. Wednesday, 6.30 a.m., Devotion to St. Joseph. 6 p.m., Devotion to Our Mother of Perpetual Health. Thursday, 6 p.m., Devotion to St. Jude. Friday, 6 p.m., Devotion to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Saturday, 6 p.m., Devotion to Jesus, the Divine Word. Our confession schedule, every Sunday, five, Saturday, 5 p.m., and every Sunday, 11 and 5 p.m., outside the shrine near the main entrance. Thank you for your support, Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. I would just uh, want to thank uh, you, dear brothers and sisters, for uh, the uh, donations that uh, some of you have uh, given for our seminarians. I hope that uh, we will continue to help our seminarians, especially since uh, they will be uh, enrolling already this coming uh, month. And uh, if you wish to uh, continue, uh, to uh, donate, especially our uh, live streaming uh, who joined us. You may uh, send through my uh, uh, email, uh, not email, but uh, for my uh, <coughs> savings account, uh, Father Isabelo San Luis. Then the uh, account number zero 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 two two. Zero zero five one six two three. So thank you very much and God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord with Saint John the Baptist and Saint Jude the Deus. Thanks be to God. Pagli